tale of two ticks. An X and Storybook. Hey everyone, I'm Ankita, currently adulting in Austin, Texas, working as a principal software engineer at Dell SecureWorks. I'm also the host of South Asia Meetup Group at Anglo Nation. And I'm Kyler Johnson, Senior Principal Software Engineer with Dell SecureWorks, working remotely out of Atlanta, Georgia, and co-host of Angular Americas with Angular Nation. For our talk today, we leveraged the example app on Angular's documentation site, Tour of Heroes, converted it into an application inside NX workspace, and added storybooks using the help, helpful CLI command to initialize storybook for the app. After adding a little bit of our flavor, let's see what it looks like. This is our Heroes app where we have a list of our favorite heroes. You can click on a hero and see the details. You can edit the details there. You can see a list of all of the heroes. You can toggle their favorite status. You can delete them. You can add a hero. And finally, you can search for your favorite hero. Now that you've seen the application, you have a little bit of context as far as what we're working with. Let's take a look at our mono repo structure. Here, we're gonna be talking about two libraries in particular. That's gonna be the UIKit library in the share directory and the UIKit heroes card library in the tour of heroes directory. When we configure storybook for our mono repo, we want it to look for stories inside of these libraries because they contain the components we want to develop in isolation and test visually. Fortunately, we can use the NX Storybook generator to get this set up quickly. Let's do it. To initialize Storybook within your workspace, run this command like so. Like any other package, it will take a couple of minutes to do its thing. You can choose to utilize this time to do squats, hydrate, scroll on Twitter, whatever floats your boat, you know? Next. You can set up Storybook for individual UI kit libraries in your workspace by running this command like so. UI kit dashboard here is the name of your library which has presentational components for your dashboard. So for all of your individual libraries, you would be running this command again. This gives you the option to configure Cypress end-to-end -end test, generate stories files for all your components in this library. And lastly, it also gives you the option to generate specs files or test files for your generated Cypress app. To view all the stories for a particular library, run this command and all the stories just for this library will show up. So over here, UIKit dashboard is the name of the library for which Storybook would compile and show all the stories on the browser. But what if you wanted to run all the stories in your app or workspace at once? For that, all you have to do is create a placeholder library. Let's call it Combined Stories. We will create the library by running this command like so. Once the library has been created, we will configure Storybook for that library. Just like we configured it for UIKit dashboard, over here, we are asking NX to configure Storybook for combined stories. It gives us the same set of options that we saw earlier. And that's it. When you configure Storybook for a library, a dot storybook folder gets generated. In my example, stories is the name of the placeholder library, and here is the dot storybook folder. This folder has all the configura configuration files inside it. The main.js file, as the name suggests, is the main configuration file. Inside the file is the configuration which searches for stories and runs them just for that library. At least the default setup is that the path for all the stories just within that library. Update the path such that all stories are captured. And once you run Storybook for just this library, 
you will have you will actually have storybook running the stories for all the libraries inside your project in this demo app we are using angular material components and material icon fonts in the app i have incor incorporated these icons in the head tag of the html file if you would like to add anything to the head tag for your stories you can add it in the preview head file that you can create inside the dot stories folder uh, that has all the configurations similarly you can add a preview body html file that allows you to configure the body tag inside which all the stories are embedded want to include a separate custom style sheet this is where you would include the file and all those styles would get applied to all stories this demo app has a shared ui kit library which is the design system library the components here are purely pr presentational and app agnostic which means that you can use them for any of the many apps that you might have in this mono repo to view stories for this library you can run this command like so here i have a basic story for the flipkart component i can easily edit the mock data being passed to the component and to see how the story respond how the component stories respond to it you can also see what your component would look like when there is no data or partial data for example for the hero card component when hero is now the hero not found error message shows up being able to live test your component via the controls add-on and see how the component reacts to the data being passed to it is a pretty awesome way to test your component feel free to reach out to us y'all for a lot of cute puppies content with occasional tech content you can find me at guacamole and kita on twitter for pure tech content, come join me at anglernation.net or follow Angler Asia on Twitter. And you can geek out with me at Kyler Johnson Dev on Twitter. To check out the repository for this project, go to the link below or scan the QR code and it'll take you straight there. Thanks for watching.